What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. So it's time for another how to mine video where I just show you guys how to mine certain cryptocurrencies, help you set up the wallet, help you set up the miner, all of that, what pools to use and so on. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to mine Monero with your CPU and your GPU. Now I have already made a video about how to mine with your CPU. So if you want to just check that one out, you can follow the link in the video description. Uh, but for this one, it's uh, gonna work a bit better. It's running a better miner as well. So you are gonna get higher hash rates. So for this one, again, you're gonna be able to use your CPU and, and your GPU at the same time. And it works on NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Also, I have made a bunch of these mining videos. So if you're looking to mine Zcash, Ethereum, uh, Pascal, just a few other uh, coins out there, you can follow some of the links in the video description or you can check out my channel. Again, I've made a bunch of these. And also for all of the links and everything uh, that I'm gonna mention, all of those will be in the video description as well. So with all of that being said, let's get into the mining right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get into the crypto mining world? Well, Rebeltic is the best place to get all of your mining hardware at extremely low prices. They have a massive range of graphics cards, motherboards, and everything else you would need. So click on the link in the video description to go visit Rebeltic and start building your new mining system. Okay, so first up, let's quickly check out coinmarketcap.com where we can see all of the different coins and where they are trading at. So currently Monero is on the 13th spot, trading for $422.64 each and has a coin market cap of 6.6. .6 uh, billion dollars and also have a circulation supply of 15.6 million coins so it's a relatively low coin which is always good uh, it's always going to go up in value because of this uh, when we quickly check out Monero's page we can see that, that with the chart it just keeps going up it is uh, correcting itself now and again but as we can see it's just going up all the way when you quickly check out the markets, the, these are all of the places where you can uh, exchange your Monero for different coins or just for fiat currency. So currently BitHub is the biggest one, 26% uh, and then uh, HitBTX is also uh, Binance. If you want to use Binance, you can use that as well to trade uh, Monero. Okay, so then if you just click on the website over here, you'll see that it takes you to getmonero.com org this is the official page for monero so you can be able to uh, read up a bit more over here if you wanted to and we can also get started so firstly you can just scroll down a bit if you want to read up a bit more what monero is and then just uh, the plans for the future next up let's quickly just check out get started here we will be able to set up our wallet this is kind of just like your bank account wallet where you want to store all of your uh, monero coins so all you have to do is just click there go to the download page and you'll see that they do support a various amount of different platforms so windows mac linux if you want to use any of those you can just check these out but currently we're just going to use it for windows and we're going to download the gui uh, wallet so just click on that it's going to start to download it's relatively big but just give it a few minutes and it should fin finish downloading okay so once it's downloaded you can just take it to your desktop or any other place you would like to uh, set it up so all you have to do is just right click and then extract it to wherever you want then you'll just go into the folder and then just open up the monero wallet gui so just open that up and now we're quickly gonna set everything up so as you guys could see i did have a previous wallet but i'm quickly gonna create just a new one so you can just choose the language you would want to use I'm just gonna take english and then you can create a new wallet restore from uh, previous keys or you can open up from a file now we're just going to create a new wallet uh, then all you have to do is copy and paste this entire section this is your backup code so if you want to restore your wallet if for some reason uh, your computer crashed and you lost all of your data this is a way for you to actually get all of your coins back now 
copy this save it because it is very important and then we can just go along okay so next up you just have to create a password so i'm just gonna type in whatever just have to actually remember it and then all you have to do is click next you're all set up blah 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 it's just going to give you some details and everything and then use monero okay so once you this is open you will have to connect to the damien so just open that up and it might take a while so just give it some time as well it's just going to connect you to the to the server to the network so just give it a, a, a few minutes okay so that's done it took about two minutes it was relatively quick but once you're here you'll be able to send and receive uh, your monero coins you can add an address book if you want to save somebody's details but we're just going to get your address up here so once you're at receive you can just copy that but we will just keep that for a bit as well uh, because now we are quickly going to go set up the miner Okay, so the miner we are going to use is the XMR stack miner. Now, I will leave a link for everything in the video description. So for your uh, Monero wallet as well, and then for the XMR stack wallet, uh, it's going to be pretty simple to set up. All you have to do is click on the XMR stack win64.zip. It's going to download the miner for you. Just click it that. Just give it a minute uh, now if for some reason while we're here if for some reason it won't open or anything like that you could check out the, some of the necessary applications you will need so you can check out you will need visual studios so you can just download it over here but yeah it's quickly done so let's open it up and then just drag it to the desktop and then we can extract it there as well so now we have our wallet over here and our uh, miner over here. So you can just double click that and you'll see that there is five files inside. Now quickly before we start, we have to get a pool to mine on. So we do have a, our wallet, we do have our miner. Now we quickly have to find a pool that is going to be worth mining on. Okay, so to choose a pool, you can go to MoneroPools.com. Here you'll be able to see a bunch of different pools that you are able to use. So some global ones, some Europe ones, some US. So you can just scroll around there, see which one, uh, which region, region you are. And then also then which pool you want to use. You can see here, uh, see here the location of, this, uh, of the servers, the total uh, uh, donation. So that's like the fees. So how much percentage do they take? Uh, the total hash rate of the pool, uh, miners linked, and then we can just, that's a just shortcut. Uh, now the thing I'm most gonna look for is just the amount of hashes they actually get and the amount of miners. And now sometimes you don't want to be on the biggest pool because then it splits the, uh, the reward uh, between like 11,000 miners. But for this instance, we're just gonna take uh, supportxmr.com because this is one I'm, I, I personally used as well. So once here, you can just check it. I do only take 0.6%, which is relatively low. So we can just go to click uh, of go to pool. Once here, you'll see that this, let's see if I can make it bigger. It looks like this. Uh, you'll see up here the total network speed, the, uh, uh, the pool speed and your hashes. So before we set everything up, you can quickly go to the just the config generator. You'll just see a, a quick setup guide. Uh, you'll just choose the port you want to use. So if you have a fast CPU, you can uh, take the five uh, quad five ports. Or if you're going to mine just with your GPU, you can take the seven. If a low end GPU, you can just take the three. Now uh, I am we are going to use our GPU and our CPU. So I think we're just going to take the, the quad five one. Uh, and this is the address that you have to paste in. Uh, remember, we got it over here. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that in over there, and then just click those two as well. So this is just to distinguish which miner is which. So I'm going to just call this one test. Uh, let's call it miner one. Miner one. And then this one, all you have to do is type in your email address. 
Okay, so once that's done, you can check down here. This is mostly what we are going to use. Uh, just almost that section. The rest is relatively simple. All in, and then the, the pool address. So now that we have that, we can quickly set up our miner. Now to set up, all you have to do is click on the miner over here again, and then open up the xmrstack.exe folder. So it's going to ask you for permission. Just say yes. Uh, you'll see if uh, otherwise it's going to ask you windows open because XMR is run as administrator. Sometimes it'll say it's not running as administrator. So just make sure it is running. So when this open up, uh, it'll see that it asks for a currency. So Monero or Aeon. Uh, we are going to mine Monero. So just literally type that in. Press enter. Now it's asking for the pool. So the pool is this one we had over here. So just copy that one and then paste that in enter now it's asking for your wallet address so this one is that over there paste that in as well and now it's asking for your password uh, you can leave it x uh, or empty if you wanted to but then you won't be able to change your minimum payout so we won't be able to do that so we, let's just take that one that's just going to give us the minor name and then also that is our, going to be our password. So just type that in. And then now it's just asking if it's a TLS or SSL port. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I didn't really check. Uh, it looks like it is a stratum, but I'm just going to say no just to be safe. Because if you don't know, just say no. It's going to be fine. We're not going to use the nice hash pool and we're not going to use the multiple pools. Okay, so now it's starting to run. My record struggle as well. Um, so yeah, let's just give it some time. Okay, so I quickly left the miner to run for about 15 minutes. Now I just quickly want to show you guys as well because the recording does struggle quite a bit when doing this. Uh, so you're able to check your hash rate by pressing H and you're able to check your uh, results by pressing R. So I just quickly want to show you guys that before my recording uh, bombs out. So let's see. So it gives me the result of the hashes. Okay, so that was just to see how much you're actually making. So just press H and you'll see your hash rates. Now with my previous testing, I did find that I was getting about 800 between my CPU and my GPU. Both of them getting about 400. So you can just look into that. Just uh, we'll check how to calculate and see how much that is worth now as well. But once done you and you just want to see if you're actually the pool is actually picking up that you are mining you can go to options up here again at support xmr.com just go to options and then up here you're going to add in your uh, wallet address and then this is going to be that email that we created down here so it was minor one is your your uh, minor name so minor one is your minor name and then the email address is your uh, your password so once that you can just uh, log in and you'll see that it changes to a gear and all you have to do then if you want to you can change your minimum payout threshold so usually it's about 0 0.3 but the, the pool accepts uh, the lowest of 0 0.1 so you can just change that if you want to be paid out earlier you also have some email settings up here if you want to receive your hash rate alerts and then also you can change your password but yeah that's pretty much it you can also uh, take your minimum threshold threshold higher if you wanted to as well uh, if you want to be paid out a lot lo a lot later so yeah that's kind of just to see that you are mining and all of that uh, you'll also see that your hash rate is up here now because i'm not actually mining it's not picking up but it, you'll your hash rate will be picked up there and it will be paid out as well you can also go to your dashboard up here and then add in your wallet address again. So we get that, add that in there, and then it's going to track your live stats as well. So you guys can see here it went up and down, up and down. Uh, total hash was like 1.8 million and then the hash rate was uh, 460 ish. Uh, it wasn't it's it's going to take a while to be completely accurate 
but I was getting about 600 to 800 around there. So you can just see my, my worker name, that was just the first one, 636 uh, valid shares. And yeah, that's just some information you can uh, get out of this. So that's pretty much it for the pool that you were mining on. Now let's quickly check out how you how much that 636 hashes per second is actually worth. Okay, so to find out how much that is actually worth, you can go to cryptocompare.com. Uh, up here, you'll be able to see that they do support, well, they calculate a few different currencies. So Monero is up here. Let's just round it off to about 700. I'm not sure about my power consumption, but it's pretty close to 200, I think. I think uh, pool rates was, uh, for remember right, 0 0.6. So I'm getting about a dollar per day. Now you can go figure some, uh, configure some more stuff and you will get a bit more. You can overclock your CPU and you'll get more, same with your GPU. So you can just look into that if you wanted to uh, just boost up your profits a bit. But yeah, that's just a quick way of checking how much it's actually worth. Some, like I know my Ryzen Threadrippers, it's about a thousand two hundred so that's about two dollars twenty uh, ish per day um, so yeah it's just a quick way of checking so once you've reached your minimum threshold of 0 0.1 it will be paid out into your wallet address up here so you'll be able to check your history you'll be able to send some of your uh, of your monero that you got you'll just have to make sure that it syncs to the network it's going to take a while because it has to sync all of the blocks just to make sure that this is legit um, so it's going to take a while to do that but just leave it overnight and it probably should be fine but yeah you can just go through the settings a bit and see you can also mine with the uh, with the wallet itself i personally didn't really do it because this is also solo mining uh, but if you want to you can try it out uh, i personally just rather use it through the xm stack miner xmr stack miner uh, it's just a lot <laughs> it's just better so just try it out through that and then yeah you are set to go actually so that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. Also, if you want me to do uh, any other mining video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to do them. I have made a bunch of other mining videos, which I will also link in the video description. So you can go check those ones out if you wanted to. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.